Good morning. Welcome to Pastor John's Fireside Chat. It's Monday, July 6th. I hope that you had a great weekend. I'd like to share with you a thought from Daniel chapter 6. And before I actually read these words, I need to do a little bit of setup. Daniel is an Israelite who's been taken from uh, Israel into Babylon. The king has noticed that he is a man that's very gifted and blessed by God, and so he uh, rises in the ranks, and he's about to be made the head overseer, so to speak, of all the governors and satraps in the government. And the only person that would be higher than him would be King Darius. Other people become jealous of David and try to set him up. So that's all the uh, context about what happens here. So the administrators and the satraps went as a group to the king and said, O King Darius, live forever. The royal administrators, prefects, satraps, advisors, and governors have all agreed that the king should issue an edict and enforce the decree that anyone who prays to any god or man during the next 30 days except to you, O king, shall be thrown into the lion's den. Now, O king, issue the decree and put it in writing so that it cannot be altered in accordance with the laws of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repealed. So King Darius put the decree in writing. Now, when Daniel learned that the decree had been published, what does he do? He went home to his upstairs room where the windows opened toward Jerusalem. Three times a day he got down on his knees and prayed giving thanks to his God just as he had done before. Then these men went as a group and found Daniel praying and asking God for help. So they went to the king and spoke to him about his royal decree. Did you not publish a decree that during the next 30 days anyone who prays to any god or man except you, O king, would be thrown into the lion's den? The king answered, The decree stands in accordance with the laws of the Medes and Persians, which cannot be repealed. Then they said to the king, Daniel, who was one of the exiles from Judah, pays no attention to you, O king, or to the decree you put in writing. He still prays three times a day. When the king heard this, he was greatly distressed. He was determined to rescue Daniel and made every effort until sundown to save him. There's a lot I could talk about in this story, but what I find fascinating is that even though Daniel is being set up, and it would be easy for him to compromise or maybe to pray in secret, he doesn't do that. The windows are wide open, they're facing Jerusalem, and he does what he's always done before, and that is to pray to the one true God. And he lets the chips fall where they will. And if you don't know the rest of the story, the king, because it was the law, had to throw Daniel into the lion's den, but God rescued Daniel. After God rescued Daniel from the lions, he realized how Daniel had been set up out of jealousy, and so those other people who set him up were then thrown into the lion's den, and this time they weren't spared. They were all destroyed. It's a reminder to us. God watches over his people. It doesn't mean that we're always going to be rescued from evil acts or evil intentions, but it does mean that God sees everything that's going on and God is involved in our lives. And what he's asking us to do is to be faithful, even as he is eternally faithful to us. And so my prayer is that God will continue to raise up Daniels in our midst, starting with you and me, people who love the Lord first and foremost and are about his business, not getting sidetracked because of threats or fears or whatever the case might be, but that we will be wholeheartedly devoted to Jesus Christ who is wholeheartedly devoted to us. Have a great day.